Hey, this is Deagle Beagle, and I'm going to make a video about the best Focus Sash Pokemon. Or, you sh I should really say the most common Focus Sashers. So, why am I covering this? Because Focus Sash is really annoying. It means they hang around for one more hit. And I've always really hated that. And often used either two spread moves so that I'm not focusing like going out of my way to take out a Sasher or Sandstorm Tar of course or like a multi-hit move either loaded dice or just like dual wing beat with Ments. so the eight most common and maybe good Sashers are these six and these two I'd say so first I would say these are in order of the usage too. So Fluttermane is often Focus Sash, so is Bundle, Great Tusk, Tatsugiri, and DDF is not usually sashed, but it's it could be sashed due to people needing a wall, Roaring Moon, and not necessarily wanting to invest a ton in it, very much in bulk, you know, like wanting to wall Rory Moon and instead of Cole Bird, just using Sash to wall hit from everything might be better. Because if you use Cole Burr, you might want some extra bulk with it for like the special side so you don't get one shotted by like a Specs Moonblast from Flutter Main or something. So Sash probably makes more sense than Cole Burr because I did try Cole Burr on in DDF as a defensive way to wall an attack raising throw chop and um, it can do that and other stuff and have more residual HP maybe left over after the ice spinner or whatever they use but overall I'd say Sash is a better item than Cole Burr on in DDF and there's other items you can use on it too. Pelipper is almost always going to be Sash Especially versus freeze dry, you need too much bulk to wall with like Yachi Berry. You need like Terra also, and it's just not worth it. And then Meow Scarada and Lycanroc aren't used a lot, but occasionally, and you can use something for them. I used to use Double Kick, uh, Tauros Fighting actually with Choice Band for one shotting these two. And I used to use Icicle Crash with Scarf. Caliber to outspeed and one shot Meow Scrata or even Scarf Ments, but you don't necessarily need Scarf. I would use Ments with Dull Wing Beat without Scarf too, and it would work just fine, and as long as it doesn't miss. But since it misses, my friend and I were like, like thinking about it. Yeah, ninety even at ninety percent accurate moves, maybe not worth it for a regional. Because it just misses way too much when you need it to hit. So there's other things you can use. So the best loaded dice Pokemon are probably going to be Terra Grass Z Zarnia or Baxcalibur with Terra Poison. Uh, you would want Terra Poison for defensively and Zarnia with... Yeah, I, I don't necessarily want to show my Zarnia, but I used to use Terra Fairy with it. I'm just testing a lot of stuff, by the way. So, t I used to use Terra Fairy with Zarnia, but then I found that, well, I was barely missing one-shots with Bullet Seed, but when you, but when you use, um, no, it, ar it already obviously kills Iron Bundle. See, it kills Iron Bundle. It'll kill Flutter Main. Don't even need to calc that. It'll one shot a Great Tusk. I can show you that with the Terra Grass, but that should be obvious. Yeah, see? Through the Focus Sash. Or not. It kills it. Even when it doesn't have a, a defense drop yet. And it's going to one shot Tetsugiri. Um, it should one shot. Even though. Someone could argue, well, you have to Terra for it. Yeah, well, I think a Terra is worth it to one-shot a Sashed Pokemon, though. Or to just to finish off a Pokemon and knock it out in one hit. It would be worth it, and then you can keep using 
the grass moves that are powered up later after that so it depends but I'd I'd say it's worth it and I was thinking though not tear grass at first because you want something that's both an offensive and defensive typing but for Zarnia specifically and maybe a, a few other bonds you want to boost its um, its best move so that's tear grass and play rough can miss and stuff too so I mean yeah I would just use tear grass so bullet seed doesn't one shot in DD but it does a lot of damage if it didn't have all that bulk like if it didn't have defense EVs then it would one shot it pretty much all the time so if it's using Focus Sash, it's hard to say if it'll use bulk, but if it's using Focus Sash, it would probably be like quiet or modest and would probably be something like this. So yeah, I would probably one shot the, the type of people that would use Sash with it. And then Pelipper. Mm. Pelipper, it should one shot it 83.3% of the time if you tear grass, but if you don't tear grass, yeah, it won't, it won't one shot. So that gets it. So I think it one shots all these Pokemon except Meowscarada. Meowscarada. Let's see if it's Dark type though. If it if it has Protean, which a lot of them actually might have because they're choice band or something but let's see I mean that Pokemon I'm not really worried about anyways it's not used very much at all and that's not the main reason yeah I went one shot that one and Lycanroc it would obviously one shot so like a lot of these Pokemon it would one shot even without the the Terra because because they're weak to grass or because they're neutral to grass and have low defense like Fluttermane or Tatsu, Geary, so or or yeah, don't have a lot of defense like Lycanroc or have a lot of HP either. So Zarnia is gonna is actually pretty good because it walls priority moves also. And then to look at Bax's caliber, let's check that out really quick. Is I looked at all of them, and out of the loaded dice Pokemon, stuff like like loaded dice tar made no sense in hindsight, kind of because <coughs> yes, <coughs> with Terra Fire you can use it for Arcanine, but but Rockside getting flinches and doing more spread damage and having a spread move to go around redirection is nice too, and loaded dice requires a whole item, and it's like then you're losing like a salt vest, so it's like yeah, Rock Blast isn't worth it on tar anyways icicle crash I'm not I don't really care about me Scrat or, or lichen rock though so I'm just I should just show like the other stuff so it'll one shot flutter main um, by the way iron bundle most of the time is gonna be booster energy anyways so yeah and and Bex Caliber walling it easier than Zarnia kind of makes up for it not one shotting bundle through the sash. Even though sash is probably going to go up because people are realizing booster energy. You don't need all that speed a lot of times, or you might want sash to survive another hit. So I expect booster energy bundle to be changed over time to back to sash. But there is a lot of Tyranitar and stuff, so I don't know. Anyways, Great Tusk versus Icicle, uh, not Icicle Crash, sorry, Ice, Icicle Spear. But if Icicle Crash one shot, then Icicle Spear with Loaded Dice will for sure one shot. Yeah, and then um, Great Tusk, they should have just called it Iron Tusk, because it's like, yeah. So actually, that doesn't even one shot it. If it, 
Well, if it lowers its defense, which it will a lot of the time, then it would one-shot. But it could just use Earthquake, trying to hit you and your ally and hope you tear up Poison. So, I don't know. But at least it could one-shot it if it crits or 18.8% .8 of the time otherwise. So, I don't know. I mean, it could actually more than that because it could hit a fifth time half of the time so it's more like 60 something percent plus it could crit so yeah it's probably in the high 60s chance that it would one shot a great tusk even if they didn't use close combat or whatever so that's better than nothing it's probably almost a 70 percent chance of one shotting a uh, great tusk between all those chances put together and what was the other one Tatsugiri, low defense, but let's see, but it's still one shot figures, so in DDF, I already know that's not going to one shot, but he gets kind of close. And then Pelipper, that's not going to one-shot because it has kind of high defense. Yeah, what is its base defense? It's like 100 base, no wonder. Okay, so Icicle Spear doesn't one-shot ever unless it gets crits. And that's pretty much it. And one-shots Meowth's Grata, and it's probably not going to one-shot Lycanroc. I should show the Meow though with the Terra Dark. So Lycanroc, it, oh, it could 87.5% of the time. Actually more because it could crit one of those four or five times. So it's actually more like 90 something percent because remember half of the time it hits five times. I don't know why they didn't just make Loaded Dice make it hit five times. I guess that would be kind of broken. But I don't know. Maybe it's fine how it is. And then Ice Cold Spear. But if it's, wait, what? Let's just do a random pair. So it's going to one shot probably about 75% of the time. Just guessing, because if it's 50% of the time it, it four shots it with, I guess you could say one shots it with Icicle Spear, then it's going to hit half of the time for a fifth hit. And that's going to for sure one shot it. So yeah, back to Caliber and and Zarnia seem like the best um, ways to take out Sash and be, have a good Pokemon outside of that. 